Hey guys, Zombie Faction here, and we are here to play Ether One. We're gonna start a new game real quick. We're gonna see where this goes. I know very little about this game. I think it has something to do with memory and trying to put the pieces of memory back together. But other than that, I really don't have too much information about this game. I just saw the little trailer for it and thought it looked fun, so. Let's see. Hey, it's me. Listen, I, I'm sorry for the things I said earlier on. It's just... God, I really don't think you should go to that place. I, I, don't, I don't think they care. Not like they should. And before you think it, I know how it feels to want to feel safe, to want more... You know I do it, but, but Jesus, do, do you know how I view you? Just another patient to squeeze money out of. Please, don't go tonight. I'm freaking scared. For you and for me. That doesn't sound very good. Um, okay, I guess we decided to go. That's great. Um, giant glowing object in the middle of the room, that's always a good sign. In the mid-19th century, advances in genetic and psychological sciences led to a series of astounding breakthroughs regarding the human... Huh, ah, so I can identify objects, that's very helpful. ...the Ishin Initiative discovered and developed new ways of mapping the human mind. I guess it's only certain objects. Huh. Okay, I guess we just follow this. Ether Institute. This is one of those futuristic worlds, I'm guessing. Okay. I want to go see what's behind here because I'm extremely nosy. What is that? Is that Excellent. We're so glad to have you back. My name is Dr. Edmonds, but you can call me Phyllis if you like. Right. There should be a register on the reception desk. So once you've signed in, grab the key card from the top drawer and head on down. You will need it to gain access to the lower floors. Restoration procedure for patient. J N two zero five seven. Will commence shortly. Staff are advised to prepare chambers for initial projection. Well, it seems you best get a move on. There's plenty to do. And for you, plenty to see and discover. I'm going to be guiding you through the process of restoration this evening. And hopefully ensuring that nothing terrible happens to you. Or our client. I'm in restoration chamber number three. Now, if you don't mind... Would you be a dear and head on down? Okay. Um, uh, which door is it? I guess I should have been paying more attention. Um, I guess I'm following the floating text. When holding an object, press E to examine it. The next step in human evolution, an asset to society. Can't pick it up. Okay. Hey James, I have totally set up the greatest prank to get McCarthy back this weekend, especially after what he did to my sandwich last week. I found out that he always works late on Saturday evenings, usually on his own on maintenance within restoration chamber number three. You're not going to believe what I've cooked up. I replaced the fuse in the Rembrandt power box with the wrong type. When McCarthy comes to do the power check, on the chair, it's going to make a huge bang. He's going to be scared to death. Uh, okay. That seems like a good thing to happen. Okay, down we go. 
This can't possibly go wrong. Going to the basement level of laboratory. I don't know which way to go. It's in here. This looks like a place to hide, which has me worried. Um, okay, what's this? Okay, it's a book, yes. Restructuring memory. Cognitive psychology. Huh. Oh, look, there's another key card, it looks like. Okay. Um. Don't really know what any of this stuff does. Looks like somebody got upset. Okay. Ready. Load report projection malfunction. Search for report projection malfunction. Loading. Ready. Do to bad projection, R157 has suffered severe hemorrhaging in the brain. This has resulted in a minor stroke impacting our patient's motor abilities. The investigation is still underway, although evidence points to a fault within the cerebral component of the restoration chair. Patient R157 is currently in the recovery chamber and depending upon the treatment may have sustained damage to memory functions. This is not sounding good. Okay, I guess we just continue. Oh, blinking lights. Long hallway, blinking lights. All of this just spells bad news, and yet, apparently, this is the second time I've been here. Oh, okay, that, that's, that's always good. Beautiful, isn't it? A miracle of the 20th century. A window into the minds of others and a tool to cure disease and illness. But it would be nothing without the likes of you. What's that supposed to mean? Right. Would you be a dear and help me with the setup? I need the electrical input for the Rembrandt installation rerouting. You can access it from that terminal over there. Okay, give me a second. Name Thornton Jean, age 69. Room, Restoration 219, chart number 1327-0569. Service, Dr. Phyllis Edmonds. Clinical diagnosis, dementia with Lewy bodies. Recommended treatment, E1567 solution subscription and restoration therapy. Okay, so they're messing with our minds. And apparently, some stuff has gone wrong before, so we should be very cautious. I'm wondering why we're here. Um. Restores may only carry one item. Place item in the zone before you pick up fuse. Um. Oh, for God's sake. Why can't anything work around here? Okay, we need to replace the fuse. You'll need to take the blown one out and replace it with the correct fuse. By the computers over there. I guess this is what the, the guys were talking about. Replacing the fuse. Okay. So I think I have the right one. Okay, let's plug this in. See if it works now. I'm going to pick this up. Well, that sounds, um, interesting. Oh, oh, lights coming on. That should do it. Right. Thank you for that. Always nice to get some help around here. Now, if 
you don't mind, I think it's time to take a seat. She didn't seem too sure that that would do it, actually. She seemed very skeptical about it. She kind of reminds me of Gladys, which is kind of freaking me out. But I suppose we kind of have to do what she says. Let's get in this chair in the middle of the room and get, um... I'm just hoping our brain doesn't get scrambled, honestly. Okay, let's go over what we know so far. Our friend warned us not to go back to the Ether Institute, but we decided to go back anyway. We are a restorer, apparently, who goes in and fixes people's memory, from what I understand. Um, this lady named Jean Thornton has had problems with her memory, so we're going into her mind, I guess, to see if we can fix it. Um, we fixed the best prank ever, apparently, by switching the fuse back. Um, in the past there have been malfunctions that have led to people getting hurt, which might be why our friend warned us not to come back. So I think that's all we know so far, and I can't wait to continue playing this game. So I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.